baby drill. <laughs> Hi, this is Miles Grant at the National Wildlife Federation with your weekly climate capsule. The big news in D.C. this week. We could get a draft as soon as this week of a Senate clean energy and climate bill that's under discussion between Senators Lindsey Graham, John Kerry, and Joe Lieberman. Now, the House passed its version of clean energy and climate legislation last year, but this could be our first glimpse of a bill that could get bipartisan support in the Senate. I talked to National Wildlife Federation Senior Vice President Jeremy Simons about the effort, and here's what he had to say. On the age of partisanship, the big question on everyone's mind, can we get something big done? Here we have Republican Senator Lindsey Graham that's ready to move forward with energy reform with John Kerry and with Joe Lieberman. That's very promising. We're hopeful that he'll be able to come up with a plan that follows through, does what needs to be done to reduce the pollution that causes climate change. Also a lot of discussion in D.C. this weekend about Al Gore. He wrote in the New York Times saying that while we can discuss about how to address climate change, the science of climate change is clear and we can't wish it away. I'm joined now by Dirty, who, uh, as I understand it, is a global warming denier sock puppet. And Dirty, I hear you'll believe anything you hear on Fox News. Uh, the EPA hates America. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, hates America. Yeah, I heard that regulating global warming pollution through the Clean Air Act will destroy the economy and ruin this country. Well, look, I know we all want congressional action yeah. to solve global warming. But in the, in the lack of congressional action, as the Senate hasn't acted yet, you know, we need the EPA as a tool under the Clean Air Act. Ah, tool is right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Look, the 2000s were the hottest decade on record. 2009 was the second warmest year on record. I don't I mean, know. I think, wouldn't even you agree that we need to do something to address global warming? Wait, but it snowed. It snowed. It, I don't see any snow in there. What is all that? It's at the mostly Doritos and oil. You need to clean that up. And you need to go to nwf.org slash climate to learn more about global warming. All right. Finally, the Winter Olympics wrapped up in Vancouver this weekend. While there was a lot of talk about the U.S. leading the medal count, there was also a lot of talk about global warming's impact on the games. Warm temperatures and a lack of snow were a constant theme. Certainly the El Nino weather event out in the Pacific Ocean was a major factor. But global warming is raising the bar for extreme weather around the world. And it's something that Olympic officials themselves have said they'll have to take into consideration for future Olympic sites. Learn more about these and other stories at wildlifepromise.org.